We are committed to providing information and training to all of our employees in the proper techniques in manual handling. The following sequences will explain and demonstrate the correct manual handling procedures as laid down in the manual handling regulations. These regulations mean that employers are obliged to minimize the need for any manual handling. Mechanical lifting equipment should be used wherever possible. An assessment must be made to ensure that all handling tasks are properly organized and as safe as they can be. All jobs which involve any lifting or carrying should be checked and there are several points to be considered. These are the weight of the loads, the condition in which they are carried, the number of items handled each day, and the capacity of the people involved to cope with them must all be considered. Employees must be kept informed and training must be given. And employees must always be consulted on manual handling issues. Anatomy of the spine. First, let's talk about the mechanics of the back. Each disc is a circular pad filled with gelatinous substance under pressure. The disc looks like a soft hockey puck with jelly on the inside. The disc works like shock absorbers or springs that provide a linkage to the vertebrae or bones but prevent any sliding of one vertebrae against another. The normal range of spinal movement is shown here while bending forward and backward. You can see the nerve cords are in a vulnerable position because the spinal cord must bend and flex without the vertebrae slipping out of alignment. It is quite easy to wear out a disc through normal movement as you bend and move your discs are working just like the shock absorbers in your car. You don't have to be old to wear out your disc. Back pain sufferers should pay constant attention to posture, standing, sitting, working, even while sleeping. Posture Regular exercise is encouraged which helps promote flexibility of the muscles and all the other body parts to keep them healthy. The back works like any other machine on the lever principle. You have a load and a counter load. The load you are lifting and your back balanced on a pivot point or center of gravity. The heavier the load, the more counterweight you need or some position to help offset that load. The back has a 10 to 1 ratio to the object you are lifting. If an object you are lifting weighs 10 pounds, it is going to take 100 pounds of pressure in your back to lift the object. This puts a lot of pressure on those delicate discs, adding more weight or an awkward position. You are adding much more pressure on those discs and of course the ligaments. That's why you hear safety and medical personnel telling everyone to bend your legs and squat down to the object you're going to lift. This keeps the discs lined correctly between the bones. Good handling techniques. Let's look at a classic lifting situation. The first thing you need to do when lifting is assess the load to ensure that you are able to lift it. Remember, Size can be deceiving. Assessment must be made to make sure all manual handling tasks are organized as safe as they can be. So what should be taken into consideration? The weight, the conditions in which they are carried, the quantity and the capacity of the people involved. If you should follow the same logic with the lift that you would use in lifting with a crane, check that the area is clear. We need a secure broad base. Next, you must ensure your feet are in the correct position, shoulder width apart and flat along the ground. This gives you a good firm base. Next, bend your knees while keeping your back straight. Then, get a good palm grip. Don't use your fingertips. The palm grip is designed to make sure the object you are lifting doesn't slip out of your hands. Lift the object slowly to prevent any jerky movements that can cause discs to move out of their proper alignment and bring the object close to your body. This reduces the lifting pressure based upon the 10 to 1 ratio of the lever. 
The closer the load, the less pressure it takes to lift. You have a good grip. The object is close to your body. Now stand up. Never twist your body when lifting. Always move your feet in the direction of movement. You are using your leg power to do the lifting, not your back. That is the standard method of lifting safely, and it does work. Let's run through that one more time. Again, the first thing you need to do is assess the load and the area. Next, ensure your feet are in the correct position, shoulder width apart and flat along the ground. Next, bend the knees, keeping the back straight, then get a good palm grip, don't use your fingertips, then lift the object slowly to prevent any jerking movements that can cause discs to move out of their proper alignment, keeping the object close to your body. You are using your leg power to do the lifting, not your back. How about the more difficult lifting situations, like trying to lift different types of objects in a less than ideal situation? Keep in mind how your discs support your back, the 10 to 1 lever ratio, and that you have ligament in your back that can stretch and possibly tear. Whenever you have a particularly difficult load to lift, use your good judgment and make the right decision on how to lift properly. When not in overalls and moving an object which may not be clean, there is a tendency to hold it away from yourself. How about covering it in a plastic sack and carrying it correctly? Naturally, if the load is too awkward or heavy, get some help. Some manual handling jobs can be a two-person operation. When working with someone else, it is vital to get the balance right. Working with someone of a similar height and making coordinated movement will help keep control of the load. Good teamwork is essential. As with all manual handling, it is important to ensure the area is clear so movements are not obstructed. Safe lifting does have to be done properly. Twisting your back while lifting is extremely dangerous. Find another way to lift, because it only takes one wrong way to cause a problem. Perhaps you've been lifting improperly, twisting and lifting and stretching, and your back is still in good condition. But we urge each individual to practice safe lifting at home, play and at work. Where lifting aids are available, they should be used. Make sure they are inspected regularly and recorded. There are a variety of lifting aids. You should be familiar with their capacity and remember, never use one unless you are trained and authorized to do so. When moving objects from one place to another, use a trolley, forklift or other suitable means of reducing manual handling. In some cases, gloves should be worn when lifting items that may have sharp edges, such as glass and steel. Back injuries can be prevented, but you're the only person who has control over your well-being. The most important part of safe lifting is having the right attitude about safety and thinking about safety before you perform any task. Mm -hmm.